Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade exponential equation. We have x to the power y equals y to the power x squared. And we're going to be solving for real x and y values. We're also going to be looking at integer solutions. And I've done a similar problem before. Uh, you can also check it out here. So we have this equation. And uh, in another equation that I just shared with you, we had used a technique called, uh, you know, change of variables like we replace y with kx or something like that. But for this problem, uh, it's a little more problematic. We're going to use a different approach. So instead of that, I'm going to use y equals x to the power m. And you're going to notice that this will actually help us solve this problem. So now, let's go ahead and replace y with um, x to the power m everywhere. So we're basically assuming that x can be written as a power of y. And this structure kind of allows us to do that. So let's replace y with x to the power m everywhere. And then we get the following equation. And then here, we're supposed to multiply the exponents. So let's do that. x to the power x to the power m equals x to the power m x squared. Hopefully, that's how I write my x's. And I hope that's understood because I never use this as a multiplication symbol. I know some people write x like this, which is how I used to write it before, but no longer. Anyways, that's another story. So now we have the trivial cases, obviously. For example, can x be 1? Can x be negative 1? So on and so forth, right? So we're going to look at those cases later on. Let's go ahead and solve it without those uh, trivial cases. So suppose x is does not equal 1 or negative 1. And in this case, we want to compare the exponents. So this means x to the power m equals m x squared. Makes sense, right? And then divide both sides by x squared. That's going to give you x to the m divided by x squared equals m. And then subtract the exponents, you get x to the power m minus 2 equals m. And now from here, if you raise both sides to the power 1 over m minus 2, you get x equals m to the power 1 over m minus 2. So we're basically using m as a parameter, parameterizing this equation, and then solving. Now, how do you find the y values? Remember, we assume that y is equal to x to the power m. So just by raising this to the power m, we get the y value. And this is m to the power 1 over m minus 2 to the power m. As you know, the exponents are multiplied. So this gives you y equals m to the power m over m minus 2. So we can basically write our solutions as an ordered pair like this, m to the power 1 over m minus 2 comma m to the power m over m minus 2. The first number represents the x, the second one represents the y. Now, if m is a parameter, so you can basically replace m with so many different values, but the only thing you can't do is m equals 2. m equals 2 is not a lot. Now, what happens if m is equal to 2? You can actually look at that case separately. Just suppose y equals x squared, and then you're going to get some solutions. For example, it's going to give you x to the power x squared equals x squared to the power x. And this is a very easy equation to solve. You get x to the x squared equals x to the 2x. This gives you x equals 0 and x equals 2. But x equals 0 is rejected. 0 to the power 0 is, uh oh, no, 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 that's not good. x equals 2 is going to be the only solution from here. And since, since we know that uh, y is equal to x squared, then y would be 4 in this case. Okay, anyways, so you can kind of look at that uh, separately. You can look at the case, but let's get back to this. So we kind of found uh, uh, solutions uh, using a parameter m. m can be anything pretty much besides 2 in this case. So what happens, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you a graph of this. Uh, and you can also generalize this scenario, such as instead of what would happen if we were given x to the power y equals y to the power x cubed, x to the fourth, x to the fifth, or in general, x to the n. You could still solve it, or could you? All right, anyways, let me not spoil that for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and then we'll just go from there. So I graphed two things for you. The first one is just the relation x to the power y equals y to the power x squared. So the dotted line represents the white um, dotted line actually represents that. And the blue graph is for the, the parametric ordered pair. So 
I didn't know you could graph param uh, parametric equations with Desmos. Now I found out today anyways. This is how you do it. You make an order pair and fairly easy. Okay, so notice that uh, I, make, I made one of the graphs dotted so that you can see the overlap. So these two graphs basically overlap for some values, but we also have additional points for the blue graph, which is um, kind of, you know, something else. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.